Hi everybody, welcome to our video. Uh, I'm Michael Short. I run a company called cultureworksconsulting.com and I'm joined today uh, and I've been involved in strategic planning, in uh, organizational change development and leadership development and organizational design for a number of years and I've worked with many very often with Mike. Indeed, hello. Um, I'm Mike O'Dell. I'm an executive coach and work also with uh, Team Dynamics and uh, in strategic HR matters. And uh, Michael and I have worked together for about three or four years now on various projects with various clients um, with mostly high degrees of success. What we found, Michael, is that mostly, almost universally, our clients struggle with doing the right things at the right time. Um, can you talk a little about how we've, we've helped them focus on that and the benefits they've gained? Sure. So this is about prioritization, Mike. And really, we start with Pareto. That's the 80-20 rule. With the 80-20 rule, we know that 80% of the value comes from 20% of the work that you do. So what we do with clients is really understand how does that fit into their business. And in general, what we do is we start doing something called a, a prioritized backlog, which comes from agile methodologies. But it's very important for all businesses. And what you do is you you rigorously accept that you will only have a number one priority, number two, number three. You won't have multiple ones, multiple twos. Right. And what that does, as we know from the work we've done, is to really focus minds on what is the value, what is the cost, what is the benefit of delivering this particular project um, at this particular moment in time. And, and once you get that done, then, of course, you can then move on to the next project that's on the list. Uh, you may even decide that you want to work on three or four projects at once, but there is a key project that is coming first. Yeah. I think the final thing about this before we move to talking about an example is specifically when you're doing your review, which may be monthly, but generally for most companies, most exec teams is every three months, once a quarter. You have every right at that moment in time to reprioritize what you think is first. And Often this prioritization is driven by resource availability, it's delivered by, it's prioritized by what you've delivered before and what you've learned from it. And finally, it leaves you with a sense of what can we afford to do? What is the customer telling us they most want us to do? And that will affect the prioritization process. Indeed, indeed. Um, yeah, and I mean, it's um, what you say, it sounds just the blindly obvious thing to go and do. Um, and I'm hoping that people recognize that as well because there's huge benefits. Can you yeah, just give us a thumbnail sketch of, of one of the clients we work with and just scope out how we're, we were able to help them and focus? Sure. Well, we went into this client. Uh, it's a FTSE 100 business. They were, you know, very good people, great skills. Um, and even there, when we arrived, we found they had 130 projects in flight. Now, this was a company that was delivering around 30 projects a year. So they're actually funding, scoping out four times as many projects as they can actually deliver. And this was causing many problems that we don't have time to go into in this short video. But essentially what we did over 12 months was to really hone down, produce that backlog, and they moved from 130 projects to 30 projects that they thought they, can, they, they could get started in that particular year. Uh, just to put that in terms of some sort of value figures and these won't be 100% accurate, but I'm sure um, they will be ballpark figures for people. If each project cost a million because it was a capitalized project that was going on to the balance sheet, um, you can imagine that's 130 million that the company is then committing to. By doing it as 30 projects, that was 30 million they were committing to. Right. And previously, the challenge was they were trying to authorize far more capital expenditure than they actually had in the budget. Um, and this way we managed to get a much tighter control, much better board governance and much a higher level of acceptance that these were the right projects for the company uh, in this particular area. Brilliant. Yeah. And they, they, they were quite happy bunnies with that, and they, as I recall. Uh, yes. To use your phrase, they were very happy bunnies. I, I think the, the key aspect was to bring everybody with us. And yeah. that's why it took a little bit of time. But the great thing about a backlog is that you don't lose projects, you just prioritize different ones. And everyone sees after three or six months, everyone sees that that list moves a little bit and is flexible and new things and things on it do come in. So yeah, very happy, very contented. And we did a lot of 
uh, a lot of great things or they did a lot of great things as a client brilliant thank you that's a nice lovely crisp explanation thanks mike and uh, as i said uh, uh, catch the video and more videos on the, on the website www.cultureworksconsulting.com and mike and i look forward to joining you again soon cheerio